Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Carson Frazier. Hillsborough County is under an air pollution advisory. Elderly people and young children are being advised to stay indoors while haze fills the skies. Winds are blowing smoke from wildfires in Canada down to the Bay Area. This alert is in effect until midnight. A rain shortage this year is causing water supply issues in Tampa Bay. Less rainfall and more water usage this month is worrying conservation officials. Tampa Bay Water supplies drinking water to six cities and counties in the region. It mainly comes from rainfall, but can also be taken from the Hillsborough River. Officials are asking people to conserve water whenever they can. Changes are being made to next year's FAFSA application. Students and parents will have to wait until December 1st for the new form to go live, but the DOE says the new form will be simplified, have expanded eligibility, and a more streamlined process. FAFSA is making the process easier for students and their families. USF student Haven Ziegler says FAFSA has helped cover a lot of her expenses. With my FAFSA and Bright Futures, um, a large part of my tuition, housing, food plan is covered, and I had a good time filling out the form. I thought it was pretty quick and easy. Families can fill out the free application to see how much aid they can get. For more updates, visit studentaid.gov. A new law went into effect this weekend regarding the minimum age to drive golf carts. House Bill 949, in effect since Sunday, states that cart drivers must be at least 15 with a learner's permit. The previous law allowed 14-year-olds to drive. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, about 6,500 children are hurt in golf cart accidents each year. The Tampa Bay Rays start their quest for the World Series today. It's Troptober time with the Rays facing the Texas Rangers in the AL East Wild Card Series. It's a best two out of three games to see who will advance in the postseason. The Rays ended the regular season with 99 wins and 63 losses. All games will be played at Tropicana Field over the next two days. This has been a Florida Focus News break. Thanks for watching.